It's time to learn the R sound. R, a pirate's favorite sound, R. And I'm a shark. We're also gonna talk about the or sound. Tonight we had corn for dinner, corn. Those are the two sounds that we're gonna learn today. Let's do it. Are you ready? Are you awake? You ready to go? Let's do some decoding. It's time to share my screen so we can see it. Here we go. Hard. That's the word. That's right. Hard. Hard. This isn't hard. This is easy. Hard. Hard. Cart. Cart. You get a cart at the grocery store. Dart. Oh, I love to play darts. That's a fun game. Dark. Dark. Who's afraid of the dark in the story? It's Lily. Park. Park. Oh, yes. Heart. Heart. Do your part to be kind to others. Party. And that's it for decoding. Oh, no. Now they're going to have us read the memory words. What is it? That's right. Again. Both. <laughs> Laugh. Oh, cold. It is going to be cold today. Does. No. Um, they. Our. Put. It's on to spell. You have your spiral notebook. I think a lot of people are running out of room in their spiral notebook. Hard. It was hard to see where we were going in the dark. Hard. Ha. Huh. R. D. Card. Cass sent Tick a thank you card after the party. Card. C -R -D. If you can spell hard, you can spell card. Dark. The room was dark. Dark. D -R -K. Dark. Dark. One syllable. You know what that means. It does not end with a C. It ends with a K. Park. Let's take a walk in the park. Huh. Park. If you can spell dark, you can spell park. Here comes a sentence. The kids laugh at the party. I don't think I heard that. The kids laugh at the party. The kids laugh at the party. The, we can all spell the kids, k -ids. So is, who's friends with I? Is it C or K? k -ids. The kids laugh at the party. Laugh. Laugh is going to be a hard one to spell. Very hard. We haven't practiced that enough. If we were at school, you could look on the, the smiley face and it would be up there in the smiley face. Let's take a look at it. The kids laugh at the party. His laugh really sounds like L-A-F. That's what it sounds like, but it's L-A-U-G-H. You know what I'm gonna ask. Did you? Did you put a period at the end? You start with capital letter? Every sentence starts with a capital letter. Nice job if you did. 
Let's read this. Let's read it together. I can't hear you. Tick and Cass both laugh at the last part of the story. Lily does not. And why was it Lily laughing? Yes, yeah, she was a in the dark. That is correct. All right, let's continue on. It's time to get our workbook out. And here comes Sandy. Sandy, are you here to help us with the workbook? No? And it looks like my computer is about to go dead. Sandy, I need to plug it in. See if we can find a plug. All right, so we are going to be on workbook page 73. Workbook page 73. Let me give you some time to find that. All right, let's begin. Let me get my tools out. And I think we're gonna need, I'm gonna need some type of a pencil today. All right, let's read the first one. What kind of story did Tick tell? A funny animal story? A story about real life? A scary monster story? That's right, a scary monster story. All right, let's get some drawing here. Scary monster story. Why did Tick grab Lily? She was helping Lily stand up. She was acting like a monster. She was mad at Lily. What do you think? Was she helping her stand up? Couldn't be that when they were sleeping. Was she acting like a monster? No. Yeah, she was mad. She woke her up. She didn't like that. Why didn't Lily like Tick's story? It made her afraid. It was too sad. It was long and boring. That's right, it made her afraid. She was scared. What did Lily think was wiggling by her sleeping bag? Tick's feet, a monster, or a kitten? Yeah, she thought it was a monster. What helped Lily feel better? Telling jokes? Well, that would make me feel better. Going inside to sleep? Oh, that would make me feel better too. Looking at the stars. They looked at the stars, didn't they? All right, good job. And we're also going to do the next page, page 74. So let's turn the page. And I will move on. Okay. How did they feel when they said it? All right, why don't you pause me, and go ahead and do this on your own, and then you can check your answers. So go ahead and pause it for a minute, and you can check your answers. All right, let's go over these. Let's see how you did. I bet you did fantastic. Tick said, we'll sleep in my backyard. How did that make them feel? Sad or happy? That's right, happy. The monster said, who stole my pot of silver? How did that make them feel? Mad or sleepy? What do you think? How did they feel when they said it? All right, let's see. I've had some technical difficulties here. Let's see. Let's clear, clear everything out and I'll start again. I think I need a darker color too so you can see it. All right, sleep in the backyard. They were happy about that. The monster said, who stole my pot of silver? How did they feel when they said it? Did they feel mad or did they feel sleepy? All right, what do you think? 
How do you think they felt? Yeah, they said it. They said it in kind of a mad way, didn't they? Like, ooh, who stole that? Lily said, I don't like the dark. She wasn't bored, was she? She was afraid. She was scared. Tick said, why are you kicking my feet? That made her feel puzzled. She was puzzled. She didn't know what was happening. And the last one, Lily said, I like the way the stars sparkle. Did that make Lily happy or upset? That's right, it made her happy. She said, I'm H-A-P-P-Y, I'm H-A-P-P-Y. I know I am, I'm sure I am, I'm H-A-P-P-Y, happy. She was happy. All right, we are done with that. We're done with the workbook. You can close your workbook for the day. It's a good feeling. Those of you getting up early and getting this done, it's a good feeling to get so much done during the day. Oh, this story, extreme sports. Wow, what a story. So many incredible people on here playing sports. There are actually three library books today, as always. Today we're going to read extreme sports. And then tomorrow I'll give you a choice on which one you'd like to read. There'll be two other ones left, and those are under books on your Super Kids Online Fun. I saw that about 11 of you have been getting on Super Kids Online Fun. All right, let's go down here, and let's hear this story. Extreme Sports. Can you hear it? Did you ever wish you could fly? Did you ever wish you could sail on wings in the blue, blue sky? Some people don't have to wish. What does that mean? They have wings that let them fly. These wings work a little like a kite. You do not flap these wings to fly. You stretch out your body and ride on the winds. What a thrill to fly along cliffs and land and sea. Would you do that? Wow. I would not be brave enough to do that. How do flyers take off? with these wings. They jump from a cliff or a helicopter. The flyer has equipment that lets him land safely. Flying with wings like these is an extreme sport. What makes an extreme sport? Extreme sports are thrilling and difficult. They are very risky as well. I noticed down here they said the word they, but it only says the word the. The. It's supposed to say they jump from a cliff just, just as they read it. That must be a typo. Surfing can be another extreme sport. In surfing, you paddle out to sea on a board. Then you scramble to your feet and ride the waves back to the beach. It's fun to surf on easy waves, but riding the big ones is extreme. Mrs. Jackson tried surfing when she went on a vacation. She said it was really fun. It is the same with skateboards. Many kids ride skateboards and do simple tricks for fun. But some riders can make a skateboard flip and spin. They can do a big jump land on their board, and take off to do the next trick. 
Skateboard tricks have names like kickflip, backflip, and stale fish grab. Some will make you gasp. But for an extreme skateboarder, the tricks are a blast. I used to skateboard, but not, I didn't do any of these tricks. Snowboarding is a bit like skateboarding. There are lots of snowboarders, but not many of them do extreme tricks like this man. Snowboarders blast over the top of a hill. They leap and twist and land with a swish. All right, why don't you pause me now and why don't you read this to yourself and then we'll read it together. Surfing with the wind is a terrific sport. You zip over the waves like a speedy little sailboat. Boarders sail on the winds. They jump up, spin and flip and splash back in the sea. Wow, what is this? With a kite, you can go faster yet. Boarders are tugged over the waves by a big kite. In a big wind, you can really fly along. Really fly. The kite can lift a boarder up, up, up till he's floating over the sea. In the end, the kite lets the boarder float back down. You think you have to wait until the wind stops to go back down? Or you think gravity pulls you down? Oh, I have a friend that does this. Oh my goodness. Extreme bikers like bikes better than boards. They take these super bikes over hills and across ditches. These bikers can ride on just one wheel. They may speed up a steep ramp and jump a long way before they land. Some stunts seem impossible. Like this one right here. Wow, that looks, that looks impossible, doesn't it? Wow, these people have to be brave. And let's not forget about climbing. Extreme climbers like the steepest cliffs. A climber will hug a wall of rock, clinging to little cracks. A climber dusts his hands so they will not slip. He clips himself to a rope for safety. Little by little, the climber scrambles up the cliff. Whoa, do you think you'd want to do an extreme sport? Extreme sports test how strong and fit you are. It takes years of training to do these sports and they never stop being risky. Many of us are glad to sit back and let others be extreme. Sandy, do you think you do an extreme sport? Sandy's trying to eat the corn, the can of corn that's up here. Oh, this looks more my speed, hanging out in the ocean. After all, sports don't have to be extreme to be extremely fun. That's right. Went down, Sandy. Hi, Sandy. Wow, that was a good story. I can't imagine doing some of those extreme sports, especially the one where they jumped off the cliff.
and they were flying in that kite-like suit. Wow. Okay, so today we have some practice pages to do. And the first practice page I do want to show you on here because the lines on it did not copy very well. So I want to show you on here. Um, you have to find the words that rhyme. So with car, you have to find two words that rhyme with car. Car. Rhymes with car. Car. Hmm. Car. Far. Star. They all end with R. And then when we go down. So the next one, is it corn? Yes, you have to find two words. You write corn and write, find two words that rhyme with corn. And then card, you only have to find one word that rhymes with card. And then sport, one word that rhymes with sport. So two, two, one, one. Find two words that rhyme, two words that rhyme, one word that rhymes, and one word that rhymes. Two, two, one, one. If you forget, you can go back and watch the video or you can give me a call and ask me about it. All right, I'm gonna stop sharing my screen so I can show you the other one. All right, the other one is from Slumber Party and you have to put these in order. And if you don't have scissors or glue at home, then you can just put a one, two, and three next to them in the order that they happened. Now, of course, you can't just say one, two, three because when I read them, I don't believe that they're in the right order yet. You're gonna to have to put them in the right order. So you're going to have to read each one and decide, did that happen first, did that happen second, or did that happen last? So you're going to put a one, two, and a three by what happened first, what happened second, and what happened last. Just like you can't put your shoes on and then your socks on. It doesn't make any sense. So you've got to put this story in order so that it makes sense. All right. So I think we've done everything today. Um, you can go back and read Extreme Sports again if you'd like. The other two choices are It's a Robot and The Turtle Who Wanted to Fly. Those are the other two choices. So tomorrow we'll read one of those other library books. Okay, let's see. We have a Go Noodle. We're going to do some spelling on Go Noodle. Let's do it.
Super Freak. Disco! D-I-S-C-O, that's the way we disco. That was fun. And remember, if your parents want to add Go Noodle, uh, it's it's free right now. They can add that to their phone. If you're allowed to do other go noodles. So um, the math game for today is going to Boston. I hope that you'll watch the math video and play going to Boston with someone. That was a really fun game that we played. And you'll also be writing in your journal. And I can't wait to hear what you write about. I hope you have a great day. And I miss you very much. I really do. And some of you I get to see on Friday when you pick up your packets. Have a great day.